All right, we now have Colorado here with us. Uh, we have Coach uh, Tad Boyle along with Tristan De Silva and Julian Hammond III, with Tristan down on the end there. Uh, Coach, if you want to go ahead and give an opening statement, and then we'll open it up to questions. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a gutsy, gutsy win, I thought, by, by our guys. Um, obviously, we're down a bunch of bodies, and we know that. But, uh, you know, Washington is too. They had a couple guys that weren't here tonight. So um, I thought we played with great resolve down the stretch. Uh, great toughness and uh, you know I was not real pleased with the way we ended the first half or the way we started the second half uh, offensively or defensively uh, so I, you know we kind of in my mind we let Washington back in the game but to their credit you know they didn't go away we knew they were going to probably uh, make a run at some point uh, we just didn't want them to be right out of the chute you know at, at, at halftime but these guys bowed their backs they made plays when they had to make plays I thought Julian was terrific down the stretch um, you know, Tristan did, a, Tristan did a great job, you know, when he got the ball in the high post against their zone. And then late when they went man, we knew we had to kind of grind him out and, and get him in ball screens. And Julian made some really good reads, and we made some plays uh, when we had to make plays. And that's that's how you win games in March. You know, your players have to make plays down the stretch. And we did that because it, it, that game could have gone either way. So give Washington credit for their fight. Uh, but our guys fought too, and I'm really proud of them. All right, we'll open up the questions. Here in the front. Uh, Tad, earlier in the season, um, you kind of questioned this team's toughness more mm -hmm. than a few times. You just mentioned in your opening comments, has that evolved a little bit as the season's gone on? As you said, it seemed like you guys played with a lot of toughness today. I do. I do. I, I, I just think, especially in games like this, it's an eight, nine game. You know, we've had a disappointing year based on our standards and our expectations internally. Um, so you find out in games like this who wants their season to continue and who doesn't. And I thought our guys played like they wanted it to continue. And that, you know, the toughness shows up in rebounding. We were plus nine. And uh, our guys did a good job, again, uh, making those 50-50 uh, balls. Jalen Gabadon, I thought, gave us great minutes in that first half. You know, diving on the floor, got us some extra possessions. Um, and so it was, a, it was a team effort. You know, Neek got some big rebounds down the stretch defensively. So obviously these two guys were great offensively for us, but uh, it was a team victory because there, there were a lot of guys that uh, laid it out on the line tonight. And, and I, you know, Pat, you know me, I, I just call it like it, it is uh, as I see it with toughness. When I see it, I compliment these guys and pat them on the back. When I don't see it, you know, I challenge them. And tonight we saw it. Uh, without a doubt. <laughs> We're going to need that tomorrow against UCLA because the one thing they are is tough. Right here in the second row. Brent Bergerman from the Denver Gazette. Uh, Julian, you know, given the nature, the up and down nature of this season, how nice was it to, to come out and have this kind of performance individually and collectively? You know, uh, it was great. Uh, it feels good to, you know, play good all the time, but it's just important that we win at this point because, you know, if, if we lose, our season's over with. And because we, cause we've been up and down, we've won a, a lot of games that – or we've lost a lot of games that we should have won, and so we feel like our record should be better. But given where, where we're at, we're just fighting to win every day and to keep our season going pretty much. And for either of you, over the last minute, I think four or five guys made key plays, you know, with steal, three – so many of you contributed. How how does that leave you feeling as a team? Is is it even a more special feeling than than had one guy taken down taken over down the stretch? Uh, yeah, definitely. I feel like you know it kind of unites us more, uh, and everybody kind of has uh, has has their part in the victory. Um, and you know, I, I feel like it's it's uh, every game, everybody contributes to winning. Um, but especially with those key plays, you you kind of get more of that more of that feeling third row uh jason marks you independent coach um luke o'brien another double double 13 points 10 rebounds yeah. he's become invaluable to the starting line of this team um can you touch on his importance the past couple like towards the end of the stretch and then continuing into this tournament yeah absolutely i mean luke's become uh, a really integral part of this team in this rotation especially with you know the injuries that we've had uh, Javon Hadley's uh, to be specific and, and his his energy his rebounding his offensive rebounding um, it's uh, I think it's a little bit contagious too you know because Luke Luke brings it and I think his uh, his teammates appreciate him for that I know I sure, certainly do and he's made a great strides um, 
Uh, and sometimes, you know, injuries, you can always look at it as a negative, but you can also look at it as a positive. So the injury to Jalen, uh, Javon Hadley was a negative, but it was a positive for Luke. You know, the injury or this, you know, illness that KJ had was a, a negative for KJ, but it was a positive for Julian. So you always, I see, again, next man up, you got to use it, you know, and look on, look at the silver lining. And the silver lining is opportunities are there for other people. And Luke has made a tremendous stride. Um, in his game, and he's become a really, really important part of this team and our success down the stretch. Back in the front. Pat Rooney, Boulder camera. Uh, Julian, uh, talked to you a little bit about this earlier in the week, but once again, uh, subbing for KJ, you come up with a, a big game. How have you been able to kind of go about that task of, of stepping into the starting lineup and, and responding? Uh, you know, I'm just uh, prepared every day. I feel ready to go when I get the uh, opportunity and you know it's a bigger role so I know I'm I'm gonna have to do more than what I usually do. But I don't feel like it's any extra pressure or anything. I'm just going out there and playing, having fun and doing what I can do. Third row. Well that actually was my question too, but uh, but Tad I was wondering is KJ with his situation is he even here or what does he have to isolate or what's his No, he's here. He's here, he's fine. As long as you're not kissing our guys, we're good. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, he, he's here. He'll be, you know, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, next week if we're playing, uh, we'll get him retested, and hopefully he'll be ready to go. If he's not, guess what? He's not. I mean, uh, again, Julian goes from playing 8 to 10 minutes a game to playing 30. I think he played 36 against Utah, plays 35 tonight. I mean, um, he's, uh, he's stayed ready, and I'm, I'm proud as heck of him. And, and again, I think, you know, as you look at this program, it's too early to start talking about next year, but guys are making strides here down the stretch that can really, I think, be positive for, you know, their future. And that's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing, you know, for, for us as a program. The biggest thing for, for me is this tournament now starts. You know, this was kind of the warm-up game, so to speak, and now we're faced with playing UCLA, who's one of the top teams in the country, who just had an injury, you know, to their lineup. And, uh, but we know, we know what they're all about. We've, we've battled them. We've come up short, just like we had battled Washington and come up short. But UCLA is a different animal. I mean, they're, they're the best team in our league. So we got to get rest, hydrate, get these guys off their feet, and uh, be ready to rock and roll at noon tomorrow. Third row. This is my question for Coach, but also both of you. Um, maybe touch on Lawson's game, um, nine points, five rebounds, but only one turnover. It seems like he's made some major progressions throughout the season. It may not show up in the in the, the box score and the stats, but it seems like his on-court presence and his on-court abilities have really helped this team down the stretch. I'll be glad to talk about Lawson. I want I want to hear from his teammates about Lawson. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like you can see it out there. Uh, you know, his his tries that he has made throughout the season, uh, I feel like he's way more comfortable out there. Um, and, you know, his presence in general is just, uh, is just you know, really beneficial for this team. Um, on offense, you know, he's a, you know, he can be a lob threat, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, he's, he's putting pressure on the rim at all times. You know, people got to respect that he's shooting, I don't know, like 55, 60% from the field or so. So teams got to respect that in the paint. And then defensively, he's, he's one of our, our main guys and, you know, communicating and, and being, being right uh, with our ball screen coverage and stuff like that. Um, so he's, he's, he's a huge part of our defense. Yeah, definitely. He's a big part of our defense. Like, he bails us out a good amount of times. I remember I got to be on a reject today, but Lawson was there, and it was at a, it was at a big a big point in the game where it's like possession for possession. And, you know, he steps up in those in those moments. You know, he had he had um, a, a few dunks today. He alters a, a lot of shots. He can guard guards, so he's really a uh, um, effective on both ends. And he's growing. You know, he's, I, this is Lawson's freshman year. He missed like seven, 15, 18 games last year. Didn't get a lot of minutes as a, as a true freshman. So I was really, really proud of him in terms of his growth throughout the year. And, and uh, you know, one of the – there was two defensive keys tonight. One was Keon Brooks. He had had 25 and 27 against us. We hold him to 16 tonight. Did a pretty good job. He's a good player. One of the keys was Brooks. The other key was to keep Mia uh, off the rim and dunking the ball because he's such a – he is a lob threat. 
Lawson didn't give me any ducks. You know, he got one in transition at the end of the first half. He got another uh, bucket, you know, along the way. But Lawson, not only does he help these guys guard, but he also guards, you know, uh, one of the best lob threats in our league. So defensively, you just can't say enough about him. And offensively, he's a work in progress. He's just going to get keep getting better and better. And he's unselfish. The thing I, I would love as a guard, a former guard, I'd love playing with Lawson because he's not a black hole where you give him the ball in the block and it, it's going up. Now, sometimes it will, but it'll get – kick back out a lot too and so that inside out is a big part of our offense and um, the one turnover was, was key because that's uh, that, that shows growth time for one last one here in the second row you mentioned the adjustments that you made with uh, Braxton Mia and Keon Brooks was Washington you've lost to Washington twice this year yes what we have and what was different? What did you guys do different? Did you see anything different from Washington? Did they do anything different? So, Well, we got them to go man in the second half. You know, we weren't able to do that in the first two games. They basically played the zone the whole game. And I thought in the first two games, we got the ball where we wanted to get the ball offensively against the zone. We just didn't make enough plays. Uh, and, and I thought we did tonight at times, even though, you know, at halftime, you hold them to 27% and they have three offensive rebounds you'd like to look down and see yourself up 16 or 18 <laughs> we're up eight because we couldn't finish you know but we got the we got great shots and that's as a coach these guys will tell you all i want is great shots like you know julian came off a ball screen in the second half had a 15 footer shot it missed it no worries you know neek had a wide open three in the corner missed it no as long as we're getting good shots um and then these guys at some point have to finish and we did that down the stretch because we were able to get them to go man because I thought we attacked their zone pretty darn well. Tristan made some really good plays out of the high post, especially to Lawson in that second half early. Got him a couple dunks, got, him, got us some threes. So our ability to get them to go man-to-man -man at the end I thought was a difference tonight versus the first two games. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, guys, Colorado's locker room will be open for about another 10